Welcome back. Today I'm going to continue my series with uh, the washer method, which is just two discs, two discs as known as the washer method. Now, most people think that the washer method is a complete and foreign idea uh, in uh, solid revolutions, but I'm going to show you how it comes from the same idea of discs like we've done in a previous video. So, if, if you've done any housework or engineering or any uh, simple hardware, you've seen that a washer looks like this. It's pretty much a donut with a hole in there. Now, how do we, how can we come up with that? Well, I wrote washer equals pretty much the, the bigger, the bigger radius outside right here. And if you took the inner radius and if you kind of in a way um, thumped it in there and took away that volume, uh, that, 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 that inner area, you'll get that hole in. So what I mean, for example, if I have a coin, right? This coin is just like this one represents the whole area. And now if I have this small penny right here, that goes in the middle, pretty much um, in the washer method, everything outside, other than that that's not in the penny, is the thing that matters. Alright? So, that's pretty much the main idea of uh, what the washer method is. It's simply this method from the outer radius subtracted from the inner radius or inner disc. So, let's actually go right into um, to a problem. So, if I were to give you the following problem, we have uh, y equals 1 and y equals x plus 5 from x equals 2 to x equals 5 and we have this representative area and I tell you rotate that representative area and find the volume well it's different from the previous videos uh, the previous examples or uh, ideas that we've done because in this case um, we're not touching the axis anymore so in a way I drew a representative uh, circle for the y equals 1 and then for the y equals x plus 1. In a way, you can see that uh, we created this similar donut shape that, that we've seen before and there's a hole in the inside. All we care about is this outside part and the inside is what has to be absent. So, in a way, if we can find this outer area and then subtract the inner area, we can just simply go ahead and find the volume. Let's actually go and do that. So, let's concentrate on y equals x plus 1, which is pretty much the same problem, but I'm only concentrating on one function. And I and from the same intervals, x equals 2 to x equals 5, we want to find the, the representative area rotated around. Well, now you see that the representative area does touch the wax, and this is a typical disk method. So let's actually go and find the volume. So we know that the height from here to here is always going to be dependent on x plus 1. We write radius equals x plus 1. Uh, we, have, we have to square it because the area of a circle is r squared, pi r squared. r squared equals x plus 1 squared. Um, and of course, we want to find the area, so we multiply times pi, both sides. And then, of course, we can put it into the integral. Integral from 2 to 5 of x plus... Uh, I'm going to expand x plus 1. That's x squared plus 2x plus 1 pi it's a constant, I'll put it in the, in the outside, dx. So pretty much, if we do this integration, we'll actually find the volume of the solid revolution. So let's actually go and do that. Okay, the, this is a, a simple integral. That's x to the third divided by third, plus x squared, plus x from intervals 2 to 5. Okay, now I just have to put in the, those intervals and we have the volume. So, I'll get another piece of paper right here. Okay, so, 5 to the third power is simply 5 times 5, 25, 125, divided by 3. 5 squared is 25, and of course, plus 5. And then we subtract 2 to the third, 2, 4, 8, divided by 3, plus 4, plus 2. Now we just have to simplify, that's... 125 over 3 plus 30, and this is, uh, let's see, 4 plus 2 is 6. Alright, let's, let's actually uh, expand this uh, negative term. 125 divided by 3 plus 30 minus 8 over 3 minus 6. Now we can gather like terms. So, 125, um, minus 8 over 3, that's just common denominators, 125 minus 8 over 3, that's just 117, uh, 
Okay, divided by 3. And then 30 minus 6, it's simply 24. Now, all we have to do is get a common, common denominators. So I'll put a 3 here. Multiply times 3. And this is just algebra. And when you add it, you get 189 over 3, of course, times pi. Alright? So, this represents the uh, actual... Okay, we, we actually have to simplify this. 189 divided by 3 is just 63. So... This volume, or 63 pi, represents uh, the outer volume. In, in, in other words, when we represent, uh, when we revolve this function, y equals x plus 1, the, the volume is 63. But according to our, to our um, hi, um, hi, uh, hypothesis, we have to get the smaller volume and then subtract it from the bigger volume, or we shall get the same thing. Alright, so let's go right to that. We have the first volume, the bigger volume. Let's get for this, uh, the smaller volume. So... In this case, this looks like a typical cylinder. Uh, radius equals 1, r squared equals 1. We simply get pi on both sides. So we know that pi from 2 to 5 dx will give us the volume. So let's go right to that. And specifically here when we have no variables, that, that, that'll just be, let's see, pi on the outside. And uh, integral of dx is simply x from 2 to 5. That's 5 minus 2 equals 3 times pi, 3 pi. So, this is actually the inner uh, volume. So, according to our idea, we have the inner circle and we have the outer, uh, the outer circle and inner circle. We just subtract the inner circle from the outer circle so we can get this uh, same figure without the thing in the middle. So, we have 3 pi and our big volume was 60 pi. 63 pi, I'm sorry. So now we have 63 pi minus 3 pi equals 60 pi. That means that the, that the volume of the desired uh, uh, figure, remember I said uh, uh, of, of the shaded region, this shaded region, will actually be 60 pi. Well, we just did two integral or two solid revolutions. Is there any way we can actually speed this up? Well, of course there is. For example, when, when we did the first problem, I asked, square root of the outer radius, 2 over 5, and then I said, okay, what's the function? x plus uh, pi, we have squared of the radius, squared dx, right? And then we have to subtract, same intervals, uh, just pi dx. Well, remember, when you're adding or subtracting integrals from the same bounds, no matter what's in the inside, we can actually join them together and just subtract what, uh, what they had in the inside. So, 2 to 5, we're joining the integrals, pi, x plus 1, squared, dx, and here there should be a minus 1 squared, minus 1 squared pi. Uh, yes, the, the, the dx should be placed into one side, I'll do that right now. Uh, pi, x, x plus 1 squared, dx minus 1 squared pi dx, I'm, I'm going to factor out the dx, and the pi, so we're left with pi x plus 1 squared minus 1 squared and the dx right here and of course the integral now we see how this uh, pi is just a constant we can actually take it out and we're left from, and I'm going to write it from a, in this case 2 to 5 we're left with x plus 1 squared minus 1 squared dx well if you actually notice this was our original radius big radius and this was uh, our small radius. So, what does this tell us? Pretty much we can write any uh, washer method in the following formula, as we've just proved. From A to B, the top function, or the bigger uh, disk, f, fx squared minus g of x squared dx times pi will give us the volume of, of any um, washer method required. Thank you.